this bike racing game has something game changing to me. Welcome to TT Isle of Man Ride on the Edge. Free. This video is brought to you by Nacon. There's a link down below in the description for more information. The game's out on 11th of May on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. And there it is, the Isle of Man. I've actually never been, but I've been tempted to for a lot of reasons. So I need to choose drivers for the seasons. I've been, I've, super bike. That sounds exciting. Super bike. So then we get to choose between our drivers, but also the vehicles they use. Now I have. A Yamaha R1. Don't tell anyone. That's a secret. And so I shall be picking this right here. Oh. Oh. To the Isle of Man. Hello. While exploring the island, you will race in a series of heart pounding mandatory events. Understood. Now, the reason this is so game changing is it's open world. I think it's pretty wild that we've really not got that many, if any, open world bike racing games and this one being on the actual isle of man is oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that oh that is so sick oh my god so the amount of shake and stuff going on here with the bikes is it, it, it just feels the sense of speed is awesome it's really really good of course i'm in kilometers but bikes are quick Ooh. we've got multiple views and the 40 sign. You know what? <laughs> it's actually really sick to see. I know they're not the UK, but those are UK style signs. It's it's awesome. I definitely need to visit one day, but uh, let's jump into some actual activities then. But the free roam is it's so sick to have it. The roads are the correct size, at least from what I'd imagine it's like. <laughs> Here's our view of the actual map. It's actually quite a uh, small island. <laughs> so uh, we could... Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I'm kind of tempted. Okay, let's just go to an event. We should probably actually see what that's like. But over here, we have, a, I'm guessing, a garage of some kind. Yeah, the inspection bay. Pretty cool. And we've got ourselves over here, a custom event. You know what? We've got a qualifying event. And that's that's kind of what I want to go for. We're going to St. John's. Oh, you can actually start the events from the map. That's pretty useful. So we can go in here and actually go through our setup of our vehicle as well. That's really awesome. Tires, of course. Chassis. Maximum capacity of fuel. That's useful. <laughs> Here we go. I feel like I'm going to do better on the first person view, but we're going to try. Oh, we've got the helmet view there as well. Oh, this is fast. This is fast. Thanks so much for the lines because I'm so used to driving cars and controller. No! He's binned it. And I've just realized you can actually uh, uh, change your tune stuff on the fly. Like your ABS, your, uh, your traction control. That's pretty awesome. I don't know if I should be focusing on that. No! Oh! Yeah, I'm going to need that ambulance. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. That's fast. That's fast. Oh! Bruh! I'm being passed on a time trial. This is disgraceful. <laughs> if this is a qualifying, I'm not sure I'm qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the, the bin for me, to be honest. When it's a straight road, I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> Slow down a lot more than I think. And oh, I'm on the curb. All good. Slow, nice and slow, nice and smooth. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> that wasn't really a corner, but yeah, we're getting there. Something cool about the Isle of Man, there's actually no speed limit in the national speed areas. When you see a national speed sign in the UK, that normally means, well, go to the national speed, which is either 60 or 70, depending on the road. Yep, depending on the road. However, in the Isle of Man, there is no speed limit once you uh, get to that national speed sign. It means just go. There is no such thing. I mean, there are areas like, there, for example, that's 50, However, this is a race. It's closed off. They're ready for it. Right, where did I, where did I position? I, uh... I don't know, but I can tell you it was bloody awful. I'm going to go again. <laughs> this time, we're going to get a good time. All right, break, break, break. Stay on the power a little bit. Smooth it out. Drive it like a bike, not a car. Pure focus on this run. Pure focus. I've only come off maybe once, twice. <laughs> that's, that's an improvement. Oh, no touch the cup. Come on, come on, come on. Nice and smooth. Oh, I'm doing it. I am so doing it. Right, corners, 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 corners. Well, considering I didn't get passed by anyone this run, I think that's 
a heck of a lot better. I'm happy with that. Don't think I should be though. <laughs> so this next event, whoa, a little bit much there. Need to off the wheelie control a little bit. This is a circuit event and uh, I basically got to try and do it as quick as possible. There's ambulance crews ready for me. <laughs> yeah, I've already laid the bike down, but that's a problem. Okay, here's some houses. They look more American <laughs> than anything else. It's like a weird mix of America, but also Europe. Interesting. And then you get to the countryside area and you're like, this, this is like England land but it's, it's not. <laughs> Considering this looks like a main kind of normal country road, it looks pretty tight and small, actually. I, even I would say that it looks pretty tiny. I'm on a bike and I'm already taken up off the bloody road. Right, <laughs> nice and gentle. <laughs> Go on the other side of the road. In my short time in playing this game, I have to say this game is difficult. It is hard. I, I am basically off on most corners. <laughs> It'd be much easier for me to do a crash compilation. <laughs> this is not a skill issue. I... It's a skill issue. Stop stop applauding me. Don't applaud me as I fall off my bike. <laughs> but to see an open world bike game is really, really sick. And I would love to see more of them. I don't know why they don't get the love. Bikes are sick. Bikes, mate, the fact that you can jump on a bike that costs 10 grand and smoke any car that exists should be enough for us all to go, you know what? Maybe we should consider it. <laughs> Maybe we should switch to beak. The environments though are beautiful. This is actually one of the shorter events that I picked as well. <laughs> one of the shorter events and somehow we have taken seven minutes. There is one that is fully around the map and I have, that's, that would take me a genuine decade. <laughs> I think at my current skill level. He did it! This is the one I apparently just did. However, this one exists. Multiplayer does exist in this game with a separate section here that you can drive to. That allows you to play with up to 10 players online. Oh, and I just realized you can actually set the conditions of the day. You can go for dusk and rainy. Whoa. Oh yeah. That looks sick. That looks so sick. I don't know why I did this to myself though, because this... This is gonna be even more difficult. <laughs> the game looks great. Like there's something about motorbike games in general that just, they can pull off insane visuals. And now in an open world, let's go. If you wanna check out the game for yourself, there's a link down below in the description as always. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out this video, smash like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new and peace.